Hello and welcome back to this playthrough of Dragon Age Inquisition with our Angry Elf Inquisitor. I uh, came back here to Skyhold to... Well, I bought some schematics while I was out there in uh, the Avar Village and so I wanted to sync them up with my Golden Nug. Uh, I found out uh, you can buy a schematic for Cole's hat and for Vivian's hat. So I bought those so that I could now, you know, customize their hats. Uh, but reason, big reason to come back here is a couple operations should complete that would increase our acceptance among the Avar. Influence 240. The Jade Ham. What the frick is the Jade Ham? All right. Uh, oh, and... Uh, What is this? Let's see what we have. work. Well, let's get this out of the way. Inquisitor. Who cares? I want to do that too, definitely. All right. Now let's see if we can't do this jazz a hack on in this episode. Finish it up. And the jade ham, whatever that might be. Tell me it's in my inventory. All right, thank you. Okay, fine. <laughs> Who are we going to take? <laughs> Do we really need a rogue? Cole's got some new stuff. But he'll probably just die anyway. But he's got some new daggers.
Should we bring Varric? Do we need a rogue? I don't know that we need a rogue. Yeah, there might be something open. And I brought some coal resistance stuff on the assumption that I'm going to need it. Hmm. I like that. Vivian. Let's give you that. Varric. Nah, we'll stick with what we got here. Oh, we should sell that thing while we're... Is there a shop right close by? There is. There's one right here. Let's sell that thing we just picked up. I'm not gonna... There's a nug in this shop. And you can, I guess, op open up the... Uh, cage and let him out. I'm not going to do that because I don't think the Avar would be happy about it. Alright. Yeah, I don't think letting this guy out is a good idea. How are we doing with the Avar? Uh... Impress, didn't we impress the hold? Well, we got approval. I don't know. Where's the bear? Bear's not here. Goat kissing, blood drinking, hackenite chicken craps. Thank you, Inquisitor. Storvaka has returned. My hunters saw what you and she did to the hackenites who held her. In trapping Storvaka, the jaws of Hakon broke their peace oath with stone bear hold. Our blades are yours. I assume your bear is alright after whatever they were going to do to her. She is fine. As for what they were going to do, my hunters brought items back from where they held Storvaka. I know what they intended. It is not something you will like. Something few Avar would tell Lowlanders. But you must hear it. The jaws of Hakon sought to bind their god in mortal form and bring war to the Lowlands. A god's god. Yes. Hakon Winter's Breath. Bringer of the cold winds of war. How do you send a god to attack someone? 
With much blood and many foolish rituals. Though you have given them pause, they will try again. Ages ago, the old jaws of Hakon did the same. They brought their god to life to destroy the lowlands. Their foolishness lost Hakon to all Avar. Now they would free him and begin again. The Avar wouldn't like the idea of war with the lowlands. Is that what your skulls say? <laughs> it does us no harm to be feared. If our land is threatened, we will happily fight. And a raid here and there keeps both sides sharp. But we have no need of your lowlands. Not when our goats are fat and our fish are plenty. And not when the sky is torn with demons. Only a fool fights in a burning boat. What did you mean when you said that their foolishness lost Hakon to all Avar? When they bound Hakon to mortal form, he became blood of this world. He could hear no prayers, nor speak to the augurs. All he could do was kill. Then he vanished instead of dying, as though rendered mute, lost for ages. If they sought to free him from mortal form, I could understand. Making him attack the lowlands is a fool's work. What would happen if the jaws of Hakon succeeded in their plan? Hakon would come to the lowlands in the form of a great beast. The Hakonites would join him, their numbers swelled by foolish young warriors dreaming of honor names. Even if war were needed, it should not be like that. With gods wreaking havoc in blood-soaked fields, the gods should stay where they belong. You said that the Jaws of Hakon first tried binding their god in mortal form hundreds of years ago. What of it? In our search for Inquisitor Emeridan, we learned that he came here to fight a great dragon 800 years ago. A dragon that came from the mountains with Avar warriors to attack the lowlands. <sighs> Your last Inquisitor must have fought well to stop Hakon himself. Do the Avar gods take mortal form on a regular basis? No, the gods belong in the land of dreams. Whether it is their wish or some augurs that brings them here, battle tears will be shed. The skulls say the Lady of the Skies took mortal form when Tyrda Brightax first led the Avar to the mountains. But they say many things about Brightax and the Lady. You're not bothered by the idea that our Inquisitor killed your god? He didn't kill him. That would have been easier. Whatever fight your Inquisitor finished, the Jaws of Hakon started. I find no fault with a warrior defending his people. Based on what we know, what must we do to stop the Jaws of Hakon? You have melted the wall of ice that protects their fortress. We must make a plan of attack. Bring your warriors when you are ready to begin the assault. I'm ready to attack the Jaws of Hakon. Good. They will pay the blood price for what they have done. Your Scald and your Scout are here. We can plan the assault. Oh, I like the sound of Scald. It's more dramatic than Professor. <coughs> <coughs> yes. Well, uh... Everything we've found out about Inquisitor Emeridan suggests that he never emerged from that Tevinter fortress. If that is where your Inquisitor defeated Hakon, that is where the Jaws of Hakon must perform the right to free him. Good. We know where to strike. You really have no problem with us killing your god? Gods cannot be reborn until they die. Hakon needs a good rebirthing. If you say so. With its ice wall melted, the fortress is open to attack. We must strike soon, before our foes recover. They're already trying. I've got most of our forces defending the shrine from Hakonites who want to restore the wall. If anyone has suggestions, now is the time. What gives you fear, Inquisitor? Is this not the battle you wanted? I'm no warrior, but with Lady Harding's forces defending the shrine and no way to breach the walls... 
Lowlanders. Why not climb the walls? Your warriors can get over those walls before the Hakonites stop them? This is not a war, Stone Daughter. This is a raid. We strike at night, clad lightly. We climb the wall and open the gate from inside. Agreed. How soon can we attack? As soon as the sun sets, Inquisitor. This will be a good night. Inquisition forces will feign weakness near the shrine. That'll draw some of them away from the fortress. Not too many, I hope. Yes, save some for us. Right, Inquisitor. Husk and I will climb over. I'll be there to catch Parv when he slips. Of course you will. You'll be behind me after all. Oh, Vivian's leveling up. Okay, that's good. In case I need to take over Vivian, I want him to be able to use that glyph. I've got him. Did we lose Cassandra? Oh, what the frick?
No sign of the dragon. It must be in there. Like this. Oh. Fuck this. It's ridiculous. No sign of the dragon. It must be in there. you nope sorry fuck you and fuck the horse you rode in on no sign of how much health do these guys have Oh great, they've all disappeared. Dragon. It must be in there. Look out! <laughs> they have way too much health. Way too much health. I'm sorry. Sixty thousand? No. It's ridiculous. I should do be able to do ten thousand on a hit then.
Oh, come on, Viv, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sixty thousand health for rogues. It's ridiculous.
Oh, build up some focus already! God damn you, Viv! Build up some focus, girl! This isn't natural. We'd better hurry unless you like freezing to death. The cold isn't so bad here. I think Cassandra's the only one that's used these. <clears throat> yep. Oh, 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 I know. We have, if we go... Performing the ritual, I suggest we hurry. Get out of the way, and I will. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't know where the next uh, thing is. Herof's in summoning Hakon into himself. Is he insane?
this the way forward? Let's look around. The key to what? I don't know. Unlock what door? Did we unlock the door that it was talking about? I don't know. Gerd Harrofsen called the cutter Wyvern Slayer, Lowland Bay. Begs of Hakon, bring his body, bloody blessings, cold and pain! Any of this stuff good for anybody? No. No, I don't think so. the hack on dragon at least it's not moving yet where is it where is I'm not seeing is that it over there I don't know anyway uh, let's uh, take this guy down oh I can't Can't move. Winter's breath to rack the lowlands, cold to cut and kill the hated. Where are the archers? You immune to these? Then what the fuck? What good is this?
Are you guys really s immune to this? Are you guys really immune? Where did my Veilfire thing go? Where did my Veilfire thing go? Good, Harrofson. Call to the cutter. Well, let's go get it again. Pass by. We didn't pass by one of those wards, did we? No. Cross the creed of Corf the Callow. Leave the lady lost and lonely. Scour the skies of spirits sallow. don't understand how Drakes take that hand. Hmm, maybe we should start you on Shepherd Six. Isn't that a children's game? Yeah. Good Harrofson, called the Cutter, Wyvern Slayer, Lowland Bay. I wonder if I already have these. I 
think I might have them already. Sing the song. know if I had it or not. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I had it already or not. <clears throat> Born in battle, bloody bladed. Winter's breath to rack the lowlands, cold to cut and kill the hated. All right, and that's still showing up as locked. All right, I need to uh, take a little break here, and I'll be back. And so, how are we doing on potions? Not too bad. I'm out of confusion grenades, but they don't seem to be working anyway. So, pfft, who cares? Uh, I guess I could go. I, I think what I'll do is, uh, off camera run back and equip some more. And see if it helps at all. Uh, maybe I'll put some on, uh, one of these other guys. Anyway, that's enough for now. I'll be back soon. But until then, have a